Okay, our first write in for 2024 just went down. Oh my gosh, this was so much fun. I don't know if y'all have seen me or the firm and us posting about the write in, but uh, it was an idea that, you know, it's one of those things where you have to be, what is that quote? Is it Thomas somebody? Edison or somebody about um, opportunity comes uh, dressed up in overalls and looks like hard work or something or like being ready when opportunity knocks. And back when Kate and I were doing the Law Moms Out Loud podcast actively, um, Chandler Baker, who's this amazing author, she wrote The Whisper Network and um, all kinds of great books. Um, she and I were walking out of a Law Moms podcast that we did at Elizabeth Elias's house. And she was talking about the way that she writes and like was kind of thinking of getting a little group together to actually do writing and to talk about writing and all that. And I was like, hmm. I just knew in my heart, I said, oh, I know how to do events and logistics, or at least me and my team, hello, Paula, um, know how to do events and logistics. If you want to do that, like we will absolutely make it happen. And like, I want to be a writer someday. I always think of myself as a writer, even if I'm not doing all the writing at the moment. So I was like, I'll do it if you're down. And sure enough, we came up with this concept and we call it the write in. I mean, I came up with the idea because it's like, you know, church lock ins, you'd go and you get like locked in and then say a while and then leave. And the write in was this idea of like, we get locked into a room and we need to write and you're not going to leave the room until you've written. And that, but it's not over. Somebody asked me, it was funny. I was telling them about it and they were like, uh, do you actually spend the night? And I'm like, no, that would be, that. I think it could be really fun to do a ride in pajama party, but no, we meet out at Great Hills Country Club, um, which is this like super, I mean, it's a country club, but it's not as like country clubby as you would think in the movies. It's a super great place with the family and I go. Anyway, we meet out here. We start in the morning. We're there for three or so, three and a half hours. And um, generally speaking, the way it goes is I'll kind of open us up and the firm, I guess, sponsors it. And then Chandler and Alex, they will do a little session with some sort of a topic. Like today they were talking about goal setting and just the practical idea of celebrating wins as they come and that what you can control right are, are the inputs, but not necessarily the results. And so they had uh, encouraged us to think as we were writing today about um, different goals we may have as it concerns writing or other stuff going on and setting those goals and kind of working backwards. So like, that was today's one time they talked about the book, The Artist's Way, which inspired me. I'm working through The Artist's Way with my friend Marla Mattinson right now. Um, and anyway, so they'll have a little lesson and then we do writing sprints. Cause I don't know if y'all knew this, I did not know this, but that some uh, people, I guess a good portion of people who write, and especially if that's their like full-time job, they will um, meet up with different writers and friends online and then write together. So like check in, ch -ch -ch chat, 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 and then, okay, ready, set, go and go for some period of time, like 30 minutes, 45 minutes, and they will actually do writing. And so that's what we do. We do these sprints as a group and we write. And then at the end, we have lunch, we talk all kind. Of, like I had no idea what all was involved. Like this thing called querying, where like you've written your book and you want to get an agent and get people to, you know, take your book and make it become a thing, make it, you know, get printed and whatever. So we talk about all of the super practical stuff about writing and what, okay, so I saw that. We did it all of last year. What I didn't really foresee happening with this is how much the community would begin to, to matter to everybody in there. Because we started, and it was Chandler and Alex, and like a few other people, and they were the writers in the room. And some other people were like, I want to be a writer, or I've started writing, or I'm almost done with something. But that was kind of where things were. Y'all, today we had, I'm sure, the biggest attendance we've had. And people talking about what's going on with them, you know, a year later, I guess, after we started the group, all kind like so many people in that room have books coming out. They got their, they got an agent. They have a deal, an option for a new book. Movies are being made off of these books. Like it's a thing. And I couldn't help but think about how a rising tide lifts all boats. And I've, that concept keeps coming up in my life recently. And we are who we hang around, right? Like we all know that, you know, you want me to know who you are. Like, tell me the top five people you hang around with or spend the most time with. And I can tell you. 
And so what this writing group is doing is raising everyone up. And like every time I'm there, I tell them like, look, I haven't started my book yet, but I'm here like wanting to be around, definitely wanting my, my boat to rise with their tide. And sometimes like uh, James Clear talks about that in Atomic Habits, right? Like acting as if, that's not how he says it, but that's how I say it. Act as if, act as if you're already the writer and what would a published writer who's written several nonfiction books um, do? Well, she would go to writing groups and hang out with other writers. So that's what I'm doing, even though it's a little in advance of when it's going to be book time for me. Um, and just to be there and to see the reality of these people's dreams coming true. Oh my God, I cannot even explain how excited it makes me because, you know, they could just sit and have a hope. Like, I'd like to write a book someday. Hmm, wouldn't that be nice? But these ladies and one guy, Colin, Mr. Colin, he's there too. Um, they are doing it. And as a group, they're making connections and making friends. And like last summer, we all went when Chandler's book launched, Cutting Teeth. I was trying to remember it earlier. Cutting Teeth, when it launched, we all went to book people in Austin to support her. And like a lot of people were there and we've got a couple other launches coming out, one in October, and we are already planning going there. So I share all of this to say for people who've asked me about the ride-in and like, what is the deal? There's the deal. That's kind of the longer story that I can explain in an Instagram post. And I was like, I just got to explain it better. I just take a long time to say things sometimes. Um, there's the deal of what it is. And also, you know, like, I'm not a writer. I don't even want to be a writer. I don't care what you're talking about, Hannah. Um, just the value to me that I thought you could take away is of having a community of like-minded people to support you, to encourage you to be more, do more. And, you know, just practically to have resources. Like, those are legit published authors in that room. They were at the end staying behind. I was kind of running a little long today. Like, they stayed behind to talk with a woman who's trying to decide between one agent and another agent, or do I wait, do I query more? And they were having the conversation. Like, she had access to pros because they all showed up um, in this community. And there's something so special about meeting with people like that. And that's what's bubbling up in my mind. I shared with y'all um, on yesterday's live about the group for teaching parents how to deal with custody drama and the value of community in that so that we know we're not alone that the struggles that we have and the joys that we have are communal and there is something so special and so human about doing that and the ride in oh i'm gonna tear up just talking about like the ride in is one day oh, i don't know one of the ways that like i don't know i feel more alive more like a human being when i'm or you know we're not around fires anymore like cooking breakfast like but we all sat around in a room for several hours a day had lunch had a meal together and just shared in this group experience and i think in the internet world of things so much we do we have an experience with the phone or with these people we may or may not even know online but when you get in there in real life flesh and bone and have those experiences things happen, things come through. And I don't know if you'd be interested in coming and joining our group, but you definitely should consider it. If like any part of you is drawn to this, I say just yes. Like it's one morning, you can block out a morning. You definitely like business developing. If you need that for work, if you're a lawyer and you need to say um, whatever, then yes, you are meeting people you would not otherwise meet in that room. I'm pretty sure our firm has gotten referrals out of it, which I so cherish and appreciate. Um, and come and just see what the deal is. Like follow that still small voice, follow that pull. If this interests you at all, because I cannot wait to see what you're going to do and hopefully get to see you at the next one. We post about it all the time. There are event brights, um, and special shout out to Paula Chen, um, at Henry Bell law who pulled off a super amazing event. Lots of tech. Our tech got upgraded. I think we even like made some high quality videos and maybe we can give you a little bit of an inside peek into what it was like, but that's the right in. That's my thoughts today on community and rising tides and may ours rise together.